Hey guys, Ivan here and we got some very interesting news in this video and we're gonna start with this one, it's about the Rubial Mosquera aka Nexilla and basically at this point it's pretty safe to say that this guy is not even doing the Arnold Classic UK. You're looking at a photo of himself uh, on a vacation in Tijuana, Mexico yeah, he went to Mexico on another vacation and he has been enjoying himself for the past like two months after he competed at Prague Pro, where he completely dominated. He looked like a breakthrough star of 2023. He looked like the biggest mass monster in the entire world right now in bodybuilding. And we were all kind of looking forward to seeing him finally back on stage again, to see him maybe a little improved. To see him against the top, top pros, because he looked like he was promising a lot. He looked like he could give us a hell of a show against really anybody in the world, including freaking Heidi Japan and Derek Lansford. He already stood next to Samson and he did not lose any ground to him, really. He beat him in a couple of poses. He looked more impressive in a lot of poses, in a lot of body parts, especially legs. He was really freaking massive on that stage. And he was in the list for the Arnold Classic Ohio and also UK, but it said pending. So we weren't sure if he was going to get the visa for the US. He didn't get the visa for the US, but he has no issue traveling to Europe or the UK. But unfortunately, it looks like we won't get to see him over there. And I'm not basing this only on this one photo on his IG or the fact that he tagged himself in Tijuana, Mexico. No, no, no. I'm basing this on what his mentor, Chris Cormier, had to say. Take a listen. Uh, Nick Zilla is not competing. Is I don't, is th I don't think he is. No, yeah. he's not. He's eating desserts and stuff and he's partying. He's not getting ready for no show. <laughs> if it was up to me, he would have been in. What happened? I know he spent a long time away from his family. And I think when he went back, he spent a lot of time with his family. And his family lived in a rural area of Columbia. There was no gym there or nothing like that. And I know he cleaned out his body. But he's celebrating, having parties. And he's not getting ready for no art. <laughs> like, what was the reason for him it's not coming to TJ to train? <laughs> He's on vacation still, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Alright, you heard it. So basically the reason why Nexilla is not competing is not really the visa issue. Even though he doesn't have the visa, he still wouldn't show up if he had it because he is partying. He is eating desserts, he's on vacation still. And on top of it all, he spent a lot of time back with his family in Colombia. And his family lives in a rural area, so there is no gym. There is literally no gym there, so he was unable to train. And then he was also off of everything. He was off the juice, he cleaned out his body. So he was off, he was unable to train, he's partying, he's on vacation. There will be no Nexilla at Arnold Classic UK. You can rest assured. He didn't say anything about Arnold Classic UK in his post when he said he is not making it to the US, but he didn't say that he's doing it either. So it was very suspicious at that time, and now, yeah, I think it's pretty certain he is not competing. Now, the question is, which show he is going to do? Is he gonna even try to qualify for the 2024 Mr. Olympia? Is he gonna do maybe New York Pro against Nick Walker? There are rumors, but I don't think they're really rumors. I think they're just people speculating and wishing he does the New York Pro. I don't think nobody in his camp said anything about him doing the New York Pro. It would be awesome, I would freaking love it, I would probably love it more than Arnold Classic, honestly. Like, to see him against Nick Walker, that would be, like, a, an amazing freak show, but there are no hints of him doing that. I mean, that's the next big show, and he has enough time to prep for it, so it makes sense. But at the same time, if he's really tired from his Prague Pro prep, and he has to do so many vacations, he's probably gonna have a little bit more free time, and then prep for the later shows later in the year and try to qualify for the Mr. Olympia that way. I think that also makes a lot of sense. And also trying to win the New York Pro against Nick Walker, it's a tall order. It's not a safe bet. It's not an easy way to qualify for the Mr. Olympia, but it will make a hell of a show. So I don't know. I have no idea. It's all speculation at this point. I have no idea what he's going to do. If I find out, I will let you know, guys. So stay tuned. Subscribe to this channel. But for now, we know one thing, basically, he didn't even start his prep, he's not even training, he's off the juice, so yeah, we won't see him at neither of the two Arnolds.
All right, the next thing is also another potentially disappointing news, and it is Harry Tropan potentially being out of the Arnold Classic. So at this point, I'm sure you already saw this physique update of his, and he looks peeled, he looks shredded, he looks ready for the stage, there is no work left to be done. I don't think he's at 90, 95%, this is 100% conditioning. Sure, he will rest up now, maybe refresh his body, get a little bit fuller, harder, maybe, you know, dry out for the show, fill out, carb up, but as far as conditioning, he's done, he's ready to compete, however, unfortunately, he still didn't get the visa. At least, that's the rumor, that's what Dennis James says, take a listen. And I don't know if you guys heard, but there's, it's not 100% that Hardy is making it to Columbus. I heard that... He's still the pending. Not in place yet, huh? I mean, I don't know how sure this is. I haven't really seen anything official from Hardy or his team. But when Dennis James says something like this, it usually has some truth to it. And I believe this is exactly what is happening. He still didn't get his visa. And I thought he had that visa that lasts like 10 years. But no, apparently he still had to apply every time he traveled and competed in the US. And this time around, he's having issues. The current political situation in the world is not helping, that's for sure. So maybe he ends up not being able to compete, which would be such a shame, man. Because this is the time when Hadi really gave it his all. Like, he is really, really focused. He has been posting so much content as well. He's writing captions in English. He's talking English even. So he really tried to do this prep at 100% in every sense, from every angle. And take a look at what he looks like. Like, he's conditioning right now. He's peeled. He's shredded. But if he didn't get the visa yet, what are the chances, really, of him getting it in another three weeks? The show happens in three weeks from now. So ideally, he should be in the US in a week from now. I mean, ideally, he would have gotten the visa like three months before, so he would be certain about him being able to travel when he starts the prep, but, you know, if he managed to get it in a week from now, it would be okay, but if he gets it like a week before the show, or a couple of days before the show, like he did, I believe, in 2020 or 2021, Mr. Olympia, he got it basically in the last moment, and of course, he wasn't at his best at that show. If that happens, then, you know, it's not good. It's not good. So, at this point, if he didn't get it so far, the chances are slim of him getting it at all. And if he gets it, it's probably gonna be not the best timing. So, things are not looking very good for Hadi. Not very good. In that case, if Hadi doesn't show up, Nexilla is not showing up, Andrew Jack is out, James Collinshead might be battling against Samson Dauda for the win. I mean, there are a couple of guys who could rival James, like Rafael Brandau, Horse MD, John De La Rosa, maybe. But, you know, this guy has a really good chance of ending up at the top of that bunch. But, you know, beating Samson, that's pretty much impossible. So, James Hollingshead actually has good chances of being a runner up at the Arnold Classic. And this is his most recent physique update. Finally, a front lat spread from James when he is full. Like, all of his previous physique updates were him in the morning, flat, but not this one. Here, he looks much fuller, he looks tanned, he looks big, and he's already in condition, basically. He doesn't need to get much more conditioned than this. Maybe drier, maybe fuller, but conditioned? Mm, no, I don't think so. I don't think he needs to get any leaner. And also, from what I heard from him and his coach, Milo Sharch, of that podcast, they are not planning on pushing for conditioning any further. This is it, basically. He has three weeks to just train really hard and maybe like has that mini rebound effect. When your body stays completely lean, but it just grows and gets fuller and fresher. So hopefully in the next three weeks, his body is gonna come alive and look much better than it does right now. Even though right now it looks very good, in three weeks, I believe it's gonna look more impressive. So... Maybe this guy is actually gonna, you know, be in the top, like the very, very top of the Arrow Classic. Here's another physique update. I think this one is fasted, but here he looks freaking shredded. So you can see right here, his conditioning is done, basically. Like, he's really lean. I mean, look at the separation in the chest. Look at the thinness of the skin in the shoulders. 
and also the inner thighs like there is no fat left pretty much and i think his abs also look deeper than before they are still very shallow very very shallow but i think before there was basically no separation and i think he's very flat here i think this photo was taken in the morning fasted but he probably had some carbs the day before so he's kind of full but also flat because he just woke up i believe that's the scenario i have no idea it's just the way how this is the way it looks to me and here his abs look better than before but i think once he really carbs up and refreshes his body i think his abs are gonna look better than ever before i think this is gonna be the best version of james Collinshead. and once again if he's lucky and it seems like he's getting lucky over time like nixilla is out Jack is out and now it seems like harry japan is out if samson is out by any chance and james can win the Arnold classic but i don't think he's that lucky Anyways, here in the caption he mentions that he's working with Milo Sarcher, which is basically something that rarely happens, he doesn't tag him very often, you wouldn't even know that he's coached by Milos unless Milos was posting his stuff and unless James was talking about this stuff in the podcast, but uh, yeah, here he tags Milos and he says, I love this guy, class human, and then he says, I've been enjoying this prep, having Jordan, Yannicka and Milos to bounce with is great. So he says he's prepping with the help of his former coach, or should I say current coach, I guess he has two coaches, Jordan Peters and Milo Sarcev, and also there is his wife, Yannicka. So he's not really giving all the credit to Milos, I mean he's basically prepping alone, but he's bouncing off ideas off of his wife, and also his former, or let's say current coach, and a friend and a business partner but still a coach he coached him previously a couple of times for a couple of preps i think he turned pro with jordan peters and i think he uh, placed third at the arnold classic uk with jordan peters and now he's still kind of working with him i guess he's helping him out and then there is also milos in that team which honestly i don't necessarily like i would prefer it if milos took complete control over james but then again i can't argue with the results i think james is bringing his best and lately it's starting to look like that like in the mid prep or early stages it looked like james looked the worst he's ever looked but now his body is starting to come alive the conditioning is in and he's getting just fresher bigger fuller so yeah at this point it seems like it's working out quite nicely whatever you guys think though tell me down below in the comment section i want to hear your thoughts and if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more bodybuilding content like this just subscribe to this channel guys thank you so much for watching and all the best guys bye bye